and I think one of the biggest things that's very confusing um, to everybody is the current hold on evictions, right? Some right. people take that to mean that like evictions, you can't evict people and tenants don't have to pay rent, but that's not the case, correct? That is not the case. We filed, I filed evictions yesterday. We will continue to file evictions. We will continue to work with tenants as we can. Um, the hold is just saying that the courts are not open. There's no docket. There's no judge there that's going to hear your eviction case, but that doesn't mean that it can't be filed. We e-file evictions like most states do. So they're going in every day. What's gonna happen is that once they do open in the next two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, that those are all gonna pile up and the individuals are unfortunately gonna be in a worse place than they are today because those fees, they don't stop. So explain to me the exact specific legal differences, right? Let's just say I'm a brand new investor and I've heard that there is no hold on evictions. Should, should I wait until after they release that hold to file my eviction or should I file it today? Today, absolutely. Um, business as usual on our side as far as filing. Now in the court, basically when they say a hold on evictions, they're just saying we're not going to give you a court date yet. We're not going to put you on a docket and have a judge listen to this, you know, until this um, 150 day or whatever in that um, jurisdiction the hold is. Um, but the evictions should be filed immediately. Do not wait. And what would happen if I were to wait? Like if I can't actually get my case heard right now because I got some tenant who's not paying rent, what's the benefit of, of me filing it today, as you say, business as usual, versus just waiting till the dust settles? Yes. If they can't do anything, why should I wait? Right. Well, the first thing it's going to do, it's going to put you at the back of the line for a court date. So if you do wait and you do file when it's over, you're another three months behind because they're still trying to catch up on the evictions that were filed. The other thing is that you already set those um, parameters in place. So the tenants are then on notice that that has been filed. And a lot of times what I see is that the tenants are more willing to make arrangements when they know that we're following the process and that we're, it's not just a free rent month. Hey.